Today I'm going to make an attempt to fabricate my egg candler. I'm going to use things I found around the house. Uh, for instance, this, what do you guys call them? Um, a clamp lamp. I used it for my reptiles um, using a fluorescent light. Um, I'm also going to use another one and the actual, sh I'm not sure what you call it, the shade. Anyhow, and this here, the other side was actually gone bad on me, so this is kind of an extra. So what I'm going to do is position it like this here and cover up the hose here with some tape. And I also found this in the garage. Apparently it was used for a spray bottle. Um, I guess you thread it onto the spray bottle and pour your liquid into the bottle. But anyhow, I'm going to use this to position it here. So when I put the eggs, it won't fall over. And what the cool thing about this here is that I could take this anywhere, open up a drawer, and open it up, insert it there, and turn it on, and voila, put my eggs up there. I'll get back to this here soon, so I put it back together. And it should work. I cut this section off using my little scalpel. Next, to get this nice and snug in here, I'm going to use some, some of this electrical tape and wrap it around this section here. Let me see if we're still good. Take my electrical tape. And I'm going to wrap it around this here. It's right now. Let's do this loose here. I figure if I go maybe three, four times around, I'll be fine. And if I do this, I kind of stretch it a little. It's a nice snug fit. And let's cut it there. Okay, okay that works. Next thing I'm going to do is pour these holes. Hmm, I probably should go over. Probably easier to go over it. As a matter of fact, I just make the whole thing red tape around here so the whole thing is one entire piece. Stretch it a little. I'm just this up now. Okay, that's that. The next thing I'm going to do is Apply the tape here as well to make it one unit for this. Maybe I need some clamps. Help, maybe some clamps here just to hold it in place since I don't have an extra set of hands. Aid me a bit. Another thing with this, whenever the bulb blows out, you gotta undo the tape to replace the bulb.
Here are my Mandarin duck eggs. I will test after I test this on chicken eggs first. Those straight from the fridge. Okay, we're in the kitchen. I'm going to pull up and destroy here. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> Thought I was going to lose my egg there. Well, I secure that there. And adjust it and tighten this here, this nut, so it doesn't go anywhere. Let's plug this baby in. And let's turn it on. I can find it. There we go. It's turned on. There you go. That's pretty cool. And you will take the egg. I guess you're supposed to do it this way here. And this is actually pretty cool. This nip here. It prevents my egg from falling over. I'm new at this. It's the first time doing this, so bear with me. But I think it's a pretty cool idea. Let's go get one of the duck eggs and see what happens. The duck's eggs have been in the incubator, I think, seven days. Okay, let's grab one of the eggs and remove the auto turner. And move this for the back so I don't drop anything. By the way, this is the other section that takes my remote readings, which goes up here because the actual thermostats, thermometers that came with the unit, they're a joke. It's, anyhow, let's try this one first. Her eggs are nice and warm. Hold on. Let me put it on micro. Okay. Looks like we have a little air pocket up here. I think that's a good sign. However, I don't see any veins. You rotate it. it. Looks pretty clear, which that's not a good sign, but yet again I don't know if seven days is too early. Let me try another one. Here's a second egg. Same thing. Now again these are mandarin eggs, mandarin duck eggs. Again, this looks pretty clear to me. I see something here, but no. Again, I see an air pocket there. Again, no, no veins, which is not good. I'll try this again in five days and see before I give up. I got a total of 12 eggs. Again, this is not bad for homemade. And it's just things you find around the house. And the cool thing about this here is I could set it anywhere. Um, kitchen drawers are perfect. As a matter of fact, you could also put it on the table. Just rotate this here. And attach it to the table. Cool.
I'm gonna take a Jiffy Popper. <laughs>